This is the brand new Otter 2022 XD Hideout Insulated. It's exactly what I'm gonna tell my wife when she walks through the door. Super quick review, I promise. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run a tape on it. When you buy something, you wanna know exactly how much room it takes up and on the inside measurements too. I know for a fact we already had it set up in the house. Poochie can go in it too, Jess. There's a lot of room in these, I'm really surprised. The whole reason I wanted a one man, we still got the six to seven otter resort right there. I like solo ops moving around because once you got Hotel California set up, it's so hard to move and if it's windy, you can't. So this year I want to concentrate on hopping around a lot more. The one man is going to be awesome for that. Freaking case that covers it, that's separately for like a hundred bucks. You want to not throw that in, why would you throw that in? Because this thing, I'll tell you right now, it's like 800 and some bucks. It's not cheap. So first of all, this is the case. It's super light. Like You'll have no problem lifting this yourself into the back of a truck. And the seat does here. The seat's right here. We just took it out because we forgot to put it in. If it, it'll fit in the case, no problem. We had it in the living room, we've been playing around with it for like three days. And I'll show you guys how it works. Not really hard. This is the case, it's just elastic around the outside. The canvas, it feels heavy duty. It should probably last at least six months, you know, quality. If this comes off, it's just spring loaded or elastic. It's elastic loaded. It's like the fine fish, like pan fish, you gotta drill a lot of holes. You gotta be moving if it's cold. That's why I wanted this. I'm sick of freezing. So that's it. That's the case. This is the best part. It's just basically it's a running gun. I love it. Up just like this. Exactly why I wanted this unit. Now we'll just go around the outside. So you, you guys can have a better idea what it looks like up close. All the zippers are heavy duty. They're thick. The stitching looks really well. It's super heavy canvas. It's insulated. And this is the latch to hold your door open. It's the two zippers, the half open, bottom to top. It's got the skirt that overhangs on the bottom, so you can use that to put snow to keep the wind from getting underneath as well. Ugh, I got hair in my mouth. It's gross. It's, it has a lot more windows than I thought. One on the front, it's got that film on it from that tissue paper. I gotta do a better job of cleaning that off. But it's got one on the front, one on the side here. And this is the vent for Mr. Big Buddy when it's in the tent. You don't uh, carbon monoxide yourself. Another one here at the back, like this is a gross film. I don't know why it sticks on so bad. It's a tissue stuff, I don't know. Super heavy duty, like it'll, this is gonna keep you warm. This heater, Mr. Big Buddy here, more that like, this is overkill. You could get a little sunflower in a tent like that. You don't need anything that big, but this is the only one I have now, so I'll be using it. But if you have a small one, it'll be lots. When you're setting this up, you gotta assemble it yourself. Hang on. I'm gonna tell you right now, having a second buddy for some of this helps a lot. Because this stripping underneath here, I almost popped the blood vessel behind me. Or maybe I did behind my eye. I got pretty red. It's a lot easier when you're pulling the skirt down to get somebody to hold it. Because you got to push this up and screw it without it coming up too. So that's the only part. It's not hard, but I'm super picky. I had to get it perfect. But still, I got pretty mad. We had to take a break. Here's the other side. Just to stretch down the view down the side so you can see. Same thing, a vent on this side. Window. This is where you put your tent, your phone number and everything if you leave it on the ice. I wouldn't leave that on the ice. Some could take that. It's a bad idea. All right, measurements. Ladies, the part you've all been waiting for. How big is it? It's not about how big it is. So I'm trying to tell you guys, it's how you use it in this video. It's how you use it. I'm gonna measure it not from the skirt, right where the metal rail starts, to the back. So you know the exact length of this thing. So we'll call it right here. Pretty much 103. 103 inches, that's pretty big. Now we're gonna go uh, width. It's all about girth, too. <laughs> I put this right here. Okay, oh. Get her lined up with the edge of the frame, not the skirt. So, 103 by, pretty much we'll call it three feet, 36 inches. Now we're gonna do the inside, and this is the entry point. Always from the front. <laughs> okay. So, like I was saying. So now we gotta put the uh, seat in that I left out. But you can put it in, you'll be able to tell in a second. I got the work light behind me, so that's why it seems like there's a supernova in my face. So you can't see in there. Two pieces, and it, it goes in the back tub, so you don't have to take it out. Slips in. And it's a swivel. Coming in, coming in. So here we go. Lots of room, oh, it's so bright. <clears throat> in the back, here's the flaps, they're all Velcro. 
The vent's up there on that one. Light, and then the, the other one's on the very front. But there's no issue, I'm 5'10". Like, you, yeah, yeah, this is me bending over a little bit for 5'10". You're not supposed to stand it anyway, so don't worry about that. And the, the really cool thing about the chair when it swivels, it's got a contour, so it'll turn one way a little bit so to help you grab stuff easier in the back down here. And same on the other side. You turn and all of your stuff is right down here. This is why I love it. Like here's where my feet go. The hole can go there. The dog can go there. Heater here. Like there's so much room. I just love this. And then you can flip this down. Ugh, and there's all your room. It's fantastic. This is perfect for what I wanted to use it for this year. Before I forget, you have little cuppy holders here too. This is for your beverages. Another little thing. I don't know what you want to put in there. Fish hooks. And the same on this side. There's one more. <clears throat> Little cuppy holder right there. Oh, I hate balancing this. From the front of the hub where the metal goes down to the base here. So it'll show you the floor, your floor plan. See how much room you have. So you have 58 inches from front. Front, which way is the front? Front to back, 58. From side to side. We already measured that. It's the same as the front. What do you, what do you know? It's 36 inches. We'll just do height. We can probably do that. About 57 inches from top to bottom. Oh boy, I almost forgot. Surprise. I forget everything. I, we gotta do an itinerary, but I never do. Jess never does that for me. We're gonna measure the tub in the back here. Hang on. It's hard. So your uh, tub here, it's pretty much 45 inches. And then the width of this guy is, well, two feet then. So, a little less. Okay, so this is the last part. Oh, I should change that. It comes with three expandable poles. And if you live in Saskatchewan, you guys know it's so windy. You, we're probably going to use these a good majority of the time. It's basically just like this. Focus. I don't know if it's going to focus. Uh, it just got clips to go around the aluminum bars, and it just stabilizes the tarp. Your canvas from flapping around there. I'll show you. You clip on super duper hard. That goes like that, and then it clips right up. Like that. And you tighten them. Well, I guess you can see this one. They just clip on just like this. They snap, you can move them a little bit side to side if you want to. This is just where you tighten them. In the same, up there to the bottom. 